Hi, I'm Emily, the lead 3D artist here at CSM, and I'm going to show you how to take an avatar you generated from CSM and turn it into a movable avatar. First thing you want to do is make sure you generate an avatar and make sure there is space between the arms and the hands and the legs and the head so the arms aren't attached to the legs or anything like that. You want a clean avatar for this to work. You're going to download the OBJ and then you are going to take it into Blender. So now that we have it imported into Blender, the main thing that we are going to start off doing is leveling it out and scaling it up a little bit. I want him to be a bit bigger, um, but I want him to be even on the X axis and the Y axis to where the Z line is going straight through him. Um, I want it to be as even as possible and I need him to be level to the ground so he looks leveled and maximal. Now that I have him leveled out, I'm going to apply all transform and this is going to set my robot uh, on exactly 0, 0, the scale at 0, and the uh, rotation at 0 and this is exactly what we want. So now we want to export this as an FBX. We're going to find a spot to put this. Um, you're going to want to select only selected objects. And if you want the textures to show up on Mixamo, you can go up to where it says auto and change it to copy and then hit the little copy button next to it. And then you can just go straight to export. are in Mixamo, we are going to press upload character and we are going to drag and drop our FBX file into this little box. And it is going to upload and we should see soon. So if it uploaded correctly, you should see this. You can rotate your character whichever way, it, but he should be facing the correct way if you did it right. Um, and now we are going to put on the points. So we got the chin, the wrist, the elbows, um, the knees, and the groin. You can also turn off the symmetry if your character is not symmetric, but this one is pretty symmetric so I'm going to keep it on to make it go faster. So once you have the points placed, uh, Mixamo has a couple options for fingers, so you can have no fingers, you can have the little claw, which is what I'm going to use, where it's fingers and thumb. Um, and then they also have where you have three fingers, one pointer finger, and a thumb. But we're going to stick with this one because that's what our avatar is. So once your avatar is loaded, it should show an example of him all rigged up and the stretching and pulling should be all right. Um, if not, um, maybe another video I can show how to fix that, um, but he's looking pretty good. So we are going to browse through animations to find the perfect one. I want a dance animation of some sort. Um, you can do whatever you want. So I have found this robot dance, um, it seems to fit the character pretty well, so I'm going to download this one. Before I download it, I'm going to alter the character arm space. Um, you can also alter like the overdrive and the different other options they have for various animations. you're going to hit the download button, um, keep the skin on, and then just download the animation. So 
now when you import the armature armature into Blender, you can see um, all the key points are there. I'm just gonna make it where um, the timeline ends, where the animation ends, so it can move nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is just set up a quick little stage. Um, and I just took a plane and then bevel it, extruded it, and then beveled it to make a nice flat background. I'm not wanting anything crazy. You're welcome to do anything crazy. Um, I added a uh, camera, um, a spotlight, uh, really the bare minimum, nothing crazy. For the camera, I ended up wanting to track the character with the camera, um, so I made an empty and I pressed the constraint tab and the child of option. And at first, I made it the child of the armature, um, and then I retried it and made it the child of the body and then attached it to the head. I later on change it to the hips, it seems to work out better, but choose whatever you think is better. Um, I just left the Y and X axis uh, to be movable on this, so he just goes back and forth. For the camera, in order for it to follow that empty, I'm going to go to constraints on the camera, and then I'm going to press track to. Um, I'm going to add the the empty as it to track um, and I'm just here adjusting things how I like uh, you're welcome to adjust things how you like um, it's super simple you can get some really cool shots with this Last thing we're going to do is set up where this video is going to go. So we're going to go to the output tab, select where you want your file to be. Um, I just put it in the videos. Um, you're going to name your file and then you're going to press accept. You're going to go down, change the PNG to a video. Um, and you can also change the resolution here as well. Um, we're going to go to the upper left hand side where it says render we're going to press render and then we are going to go to render animation uh, this might take a bit longer it's depending on how long your animation is and how much stuff you have in the scene mine went pretty quickly and you should end up with something like this i hope this was useful to somebody um, thank you so much for watching bye